Therefore each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. For whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. It's not right. It's just not right. How did we get here? It was never supposed to happen this way. Why? Wake up. Are you ever going to get up early when I'm around? I'm serious. need to get out of bed. We have a lot to do today. Babe, I'm tired. <laughs> Just a few more minutes. You said it like an hour ago. We're supposed to go house hunting. All right. Fine. I'll make you rest nicely. Get the bathroom first. Don't need it. I missed you. I know. But it's time to wake up. Things haven't been easy for me recently. Dude, I'm tired of hearing your excuses. Um, you seriously need to look for a job. Here. That would be much one. Really? I don't care. That's really to finding a new job. Anyways, I circled a few positions that might suit you for your lack of experience and unemployment. When was the last time you even had a job? It's certainly been some time now. Shocker. You don't even know. All right. Well, anyways, find something, anything, okay? Um, I'm going to go, but you have till the end of the week to find a job and make sure it actually pays. Okay? Okay. Um, I got to go, but call me if you leave the house and stay out of my bedroom. Uh, and don't forget, one week. Yes, sir. You forget something? Hey, 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 look who it is. Sleeping Beauty yourself. What are you doing here, Ross? Well, excuse the hell out of me. I just wanted to come by and say hi to my best bud. I guess I'll just go there. No, don't go. I'm just tired. What are you, 80? Let's go see a matinee shop. I would, but Missy's been on my ass all day about finding a job. Man, I wish you'd be on my ass. Oh, by the way, I brought you a surprise. I don't be one of those pizza guys again. No, I promise none of that for today. Hello there. Dad, what are you doing here? Ross called me over, said something important was happening. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I'm shocked you showed up. Ross, I went to your house last night and you weren't there. Oh yeah, I just said that because I knew that you wouldn't come over otherwise. So you mean to tell me nothing important is going on here? Still wanted to see if you'd fall for those old tricks. You know, some of us have lives, Ross. He's right, man. I don't even remember the last time I saw you guys. Jones, just out of curiosity, I'll assume you weren't as sick as Ross told me you were over the phone. What's wrong with you, man? That's my stop. Hey, you got us together. At least, didn't you? <sighs> Whatever, Jones. You still got an Xbox? Yeah, over there. Alright, well I have some things I need to attend to upstairs. You guys are more than welcome to stay. Just make sure you're gone by the time Missy gets home. Ah, uh, yes, Missy. The socioeconomic capitalist who loves to prey on the poor. Alright, 
no promises. All right, and just remember, stay out of the liquor cabinets. And hey, no overtime. No, no overtime. overtime. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a manicurist, a vacuum salesman, a customer service operator, a technician. Here we go. Hi, how are you today? I was just looking at your recent job posting. Yes, my name is Jonesy Long. Hi, how are you today? Yes, my name is Jonesy Long. I was just looking at your recent job posting. Hi, how are you today? I was just looking at your recent job posting. Yes, my name is Jonesy Long. Yes, my name is Jonesy Long. Hi, how are you today? 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 Yes, my name is Jonesy Long. Twenty minutes ago, when I threw it back out. All right, is it yourself. Oh uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I could probably use a hand. All right. All right. All right. Left it on three. Ready? Three. Oh. Uh. Hey. Thanks for that, kid. No problem. What's in there? Ah, anyway? uh, you know, just some army memorabilia. Really? You were in the army? In the flesh. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, kid, actually, I've got a few more boxes in my house I could use a hand with if you can. Uh, I don't know about today. It's getting kind of late. Uh, listen, I'd be willing to pay you. Really? All right. That'd be great. How about this? Come by tomorrow. I'll have some work for you in my house, all right? Okay. All right. What's your name, kid? Jonesy. Jonesy Long. Jonesy? I like the name. Lord. 
Warren Taft Jr. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, Jonesy, come by tomorrow. I'll have some work for you, okay? You're early today. You know it. All right, uh, let me get changed. Uh, meet me in the back. I'll let you in, okay? All right, cool. Watch, watch your step. Nice place you got here. How long you had it? Eh, about a few years now. Bought from all my dead platoon mates' families. Oh, wow. Whoops. Come on. I'll show you what you have to do. So kid, here's the deal. We can both tell that I'm not able to get my hands and knees anymore. But you're up to the task, so you got the job. Finish cleaning my basement. Easy enough, I'm great at cleaning. But I'll tell you this, don't touch any of my stuff. I just want you cleaning my basement. Nothing else. Yes, sir. Come on, I'll show you the supply closet. You. Oh, God, what died in here? Okay, do you want to get paid or not? All right. Probably just the mold anyway, kid. You'll get used to it. Reminds me of my old buddy Tom. All right, all this cleaning supplies that you'll need is in there. You have any questions? Good. Have fun. You, you are doing. You, you are doing such a good job. Warren, I noticed this chest you got here. Ah, that, that, my dear boy, some souvenirs from the past. Wanna see? Sure. Wait here. Now this 
This, my boy, is worth noting. You want to know what this is? Yeah. 16th century Spanish galleon. No kidding. Where'd you get it? Ah, some Middle Eastern pirates. Ah, uh, they, you know, they probably scavenged them from somewhere and I just took them for a souvenir, I guess. You take it. No, I couldn't. I've got plenty, my boy. Alright. Only because you insist. Good. Good. Alright, Warren, I'll see you later. I gotta head out. Hey, Princess, where have you been? How did you guys get in here? The door's unlocked. Hey, Jones, you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. Hey, how's that job search going? Still baiting that hairy creep? Well, look at you, Mr. Moneybags. All of that from that hairy dude? Yep. Shit, maybe I have to start working for this guy. What do we have here? This looks like gold. Jones, where did you get this from? It's honestly the weirdest thing. I mean, his house is disgusting, yet the guy's got cash and gold. Maybe we have to rob this guy. Yeah, right. If only. All I know is that this coin is worth something. You said that he's got more of these? Probably a dozen or more. Who knows? Jonesy, my boy, you just gave me a great idea on how to make us some cash. No. I'm not going to do whatever it is you want me to do. It always leads to me getting caught and taking the bail for you. No, this is different, dude. Hear me out. So tomorrow, you go back to this guy's house, right? You get him to trust you enough that he won't expect you to steal coins away from him, and then you replace them with a similar but fake coin. We get rich. He stays happy. Everybody wins. No. Nobody wins here. You know what you're saying? You're talking about committing a serious crime here. Jones, back me up. How much of this stuff does he have? I gotta agree with Tim here, though. This doesn't sound like a bright idea. I mean, this dude could be crazy for all we know and hunt us down with guns or something. True, but he won't know who committed the crime, probably, or at least where to find us. This is absolutely not a plus. We get in serious trouble for this. I mean, we know nothing about this guy. What do you think, Jones? It's your call. You're the one who knows him, after all. Even if I did pull this off, how am I going to get the keys from this? Dude's like a grizzly bear. Just get him booze enough that he won't notice. All right, I'll do it. On one condition. No matter how much cash there is, Ross, you need to split it evenly. Deal, Ross? What? I would be fair with the cash. Yeah, you're right, I probably wouldn't be. Tim, what do you say? Well, I can't say I approve, but I could finally get my own Xbox. That a boy. All right, I'm exhausted. Everyone get the hell out of my house. No fun, Jones. What the hell do you want? Oh, Jones, it's you. Come on in. Shh, Warren, you're right. What's going on in here? You got somebody over? Ah, it's nothing. But, uh, I've been meaning to ask you something. Did I happen to give you anything strange yesterday? Like what? I don't know. It's, uh, it's not, nothing that big. Uh, I just, there's something I have in a very safe place that I just happened to misplace it. That would be? It's a special set of keys. Wow, I can't say I've seen any keys anywhere. You need me to help you find them? Yeah, that would actually be great. Um, why don't you start up here and I'll go check the basement again. And you could just let me know if you find anything, okay? Sounds good. I think I'm gonna head out. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, kid, uh, I got something for you. Here.
What is this? It's my old gun. Are you, are you giving it to me? I know, so I like to walk home a lot. Alright. Um, thanks, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna head out, Warren, but I'll see you around. I'm gonna protect yourself, Jonesy. This guy sounds like an absolute psychopath. I told you this guy was a total freak. That's what I'm saying! Let's think of a new plan now. I say bail on this dude. It's really not worth it. I can't, because then I'll know it was me who took the keys. But you did take the keys, right? Yeah, but not initially. Alright, how about this? We create a diversion that is long enough for us to sneak into the house and retrieve the goods and then slide out as if we were never there. Oh yeah? And who's going to be this said distraction? A third party, perhaps? But two people are probably better than one. We need Jonesy to get the coin since he knows where it is. And of course, I'm the muscle, so I'll be breaking the doors down. And Timmy, you could be the lookout. Ross, I hate to drop pal, but I've never seen one of your plans go right. I once saw you got caught at 7-Eleven. True, but this plan will be different. Yeah, and why is that? Because I know someone who owes me a favor. Who? Some old pals of mine. No offense to your quick judgment, but I don't exactly trust any scheme that you conjure up. It sounds like you can roll across. Honestly, it's maybe one of the best ideas you've had yet. Yeah, too bad his good thinking only seems to come when he's sober. I'll take Jones' judgment on this one. Alright, then it's agreed. I'll call the rest of the boys tomorrow and I'll let you know what the plan is. Alright, good. Everyone get some sleep. I'm exhausted. No fun, Jones. Go for Dimitri. Dimitri, hey, how's it going? How have you been, man? I don't know, Ross. Where's my $500 that I loaned you three years ago? Uh, yeah, it's a funny thing. The Celtics ended up missing the over by a lot, but I've been meaning to pay you back, I promise. I'm hanging up. Nah, nah, please wait. I got something bigger than 500 bucks. Does this involve me lending you any more money? Not at all. In fact, I'll be making you money instead. I'm listening. How much are you talking here? At least tens of thousands, maybe more. And where do you expect to get the cash for this book? That's the thing. This isn't a book. It's a con. How legit are we talking? What's the catch? It's just sitting there waiting to be taken, but we need extra manpower extracting it, and I was thinking you and your brother could help us out. How much is the cut apiece? Twenty apiece? Make mine 25 and you got yourself a deal. You drive a hard bargain, my friend. Make it 22 and you'll get your 500 back. Alright, you've got yourself a deal, Ross. I'll let my brother know. Alright, beautiful. I'll send you the details soon. I'll pass the word that you're on board. I look forward to doing business with you, my friend. Same to you. Louis, get up. We've got work to do. There it is. Do you really have faith in this plan, Ross? I know Dimitri will come through for us. If there's one thing I know he hates more than my plans, it's getting caught in one. Shh, shh. I see them coming. Here we go. Hopefully they remember the signal, or we're all screwed. about time you showed up. Hello, sir. We're military journalists doing stories on discharged veterans. We were recommended by an anonymous source that there was a veteran here. Wait, so you're not plumbers? 
We just need a moment for your time, sir. It'd be much appreciated, and we'll be sure to compensate you. All right, come in. All right, let's see you bought it. I'm gonna try and send Lewis a signal in a minute. Wait here a minute, I need a drink. So what can I do for you boys anyway today? Hello sir, I'm Lieutenant Hogan, this is Colonel Sanders. Listen, I told you Joker's on the phone. I'm not interested in donating today. Oh, no, no, f sir. We're here from the U.S. government. We're here to uh, interview you. For our documentary. You see, we interview veterans like yourselves who have been poorly treated by the government. And we would like to interview you, sir. Sure. I'll answer a few questions for you. Oh, excuse me for a moment. Hello? Have you had any paperwork for today? Yes, sir. I finished those reports on the South African water drill this morning, and they are on your desk. Good job. Keep them busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save the hard folk crap until after we fix the problem, sir. And remember, I get my cut if the story goes public or not. All right, it sounds like we're in. Come on, let's get moving. What's Steve, where are you from again? Christ, I've said Jersey now. Jersey for the third time. What kind of documentary even is this? What's it going to be premiering on? Well, sir, we're independently funded, but we're projected to... Listen here. I don't know who you are or why you're bothering me. If this is about me going AWOL, I've already served my time. This discussion is now closed. And why'd you go AWOL? Ugh. Who cracked their pants down here? What the hell is that smell? It smells like rotting meat. Yeah, I forgot to manage this place. It smells like shit. Alright. Alright. Oh, shit. Which one is it? How the hell are we supposed to know? What's wrong? Look these keys are fitting. I should take the whole chest. Are you insane? This guy's nuts. If he finds out that he was robbed, he'll come looking for us. He might as well just take the gold and dump the rest. We are not taking this chest. We're already in too deep, Jones. We all know the risk involved. Tim, give me a hand with this on three, okay? Hey boys, the coast is clear. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on guys, let's take the chest now. Hold it! Drop the chest! Raise your hands! Warren, I have to explain. Explain nothing! You're the one who stole my keys, weren't you? You're all going to jail for this one. Dimitri, grab him! Don't let him escape! Shit, what do I do? Grab him! Ah. <laughs> Holy shit. Is he... Check if he's breathing. I can't tell if he's got a pulse. Just leave him. I can't tell if he's breathing or not. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? We have to call somebody. You're not calling anyone. I'm not going to jail again. Yeah, Jones. We'll all go down for this. Alright, here's what we're going to do. 
We're going to stage this as if it were an accident. We're going to stage this as if everything was placed here when he fell. He's right. We're going to need cleaning supplies to cover our tracks. Good point. Gather any materials that you can find throughout the house. I'll go check if we can find anything to use downstairs. Find anything useful? Nah, you? Nothing that can help us with this mess. What's in the bag? Oh, nothing. Just some supplies. What kind of supplies? Nothing really. Yeah, let me see. Yo, what the fuck? Bro, well, there's gotta be a couple hundred thousand dollars in here. Oh yeah, I just wanted to get us a little something for our troubles. Our troubles are your troubles, man. Come on, I don't want any of them. Guys! Come here! Quick! Jesus! What happened? Fuck! Oh, where's Warren? Got you now, thieves. You're gonna get what you deserve behind bars. Shit! He locked the door. We're stuck down here. You listen to you, kid. Your pals are going to jail. I'm gonna give you one chance leave and never come back again. Are well, you deaf boy? Get going! Hello operator, give me a line with the police. Hey guys, I think he's starting to wake up. Mm. Rise and shine, princess. Time to start making sense. Alright, we can play the quiet game too. Whatever you want. What are you expecting me to do? Just let us go? I'll think of something. Just go with it. What about Lewis? He needs a doctor. Dimitri's gonna stay in the basement with Lewis for now. You know you can't get away with this, right? Hell, I'll give you a head start. You untie me now, you can run free. So I don't kill you myself. Yeah, that won't work, bud. I'm not going to jail, and I bet you don't want to starve up here. How's the hand, sugar, right? I haven't done that in years. It's the work. Christ, I'm hungry. What about you, Curly? What about a nice fat steak? Ross. What's wrong? Freak show can't talk suddenly? Ross! For Christ's sake, you smell like your meal from two weeks ago. Ross! Come on, Freak Show. What's on your mind right now? I'm listening. Ross, would you just cool it, man? He's a big boy, Jones. He could speak for himself. I knew a lot of guys like you when I was younger. Kept all their feelings inside, let them boil over. You're just some weak kid. You're nothing tougher than what I am. I thought so. Asshole. What'd you say to me? Come on, Ross. It doesn't matter. Shut up, Dimitri! Say it again, man. Maybe my ears are broken. That's what I figured. Hey! Hey! What did I just say? Back off, Ross. Who the fuck do you think you are? Telling me what to do? I'm a free man, Jones. There's not a damn thing you could do about that. This isn't you, man. Right. Because you know it's best for everyone, including Anna. Maybe she wanted to get away from you. Hey! Back off, Ross. Think I'm afraid of a little blade to you, boy? <laughs> What's so funny? All of you are so pathetic. It's hilarious, really. You think you're gonna get away with this forever? Hell, untie me now. You could all be free to run. 
You keep thinking whatever you want, bud. Watch your mouth, then you're next. Hey, Ross, can you help me take Lewis into the other room? Yeah, sure. Uh, hey, kid. What? Can you get me something to drink? I'm pretty thirsty right now. Water should be over there. Fine. Jonesy, okay? I'm pissed off. I tolerate it. Why do I do that? Because he'd do anything for you. You're like brothers. What are we doing here? What are we... I don't even know what to do. Do you ever know what to do? Come on, I'm sure you'll think of something. We always do. Here, I got you some tap water. Put it on the table, kid. Alright, there are a couple rules we have to follow here in my prison. Rule number one, you will piss when I say so. Rule number two, you will shit when I say so. And rule number three, you will... Oh boy, we got a live one here. Hey, it looks like our prisoner is about to break rule number three. You, you fucking stabbed me! How'd this asshole get a knife? Jones! No, you've done it. Ross! Ross! No! What the hell? I almost killed him. I was just trying to put a little fear into him. Dude, you almost killed some- Jones! Jones! Tim, oh my god! Shit! Stop him! Hold it! For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever.